let's pretend that we have two cups of a hot beverage, one being, let's say, tea. So this is tea. And the other one being coffee. And this is our coffee. The difference in temperature between the tea and the coffee is 20 degrees Celsius. So one of these is hotter than the other by 20 degrees. After two minutes, the temperature difference becomes 18 degrees. How can I calculate the amount of time for when the difference in temperatures between the tea and the coffee becomes 10 degrees Celsius? Now from experience, these two beverages will obviously end up becoming the same temperature, especially if they're being placed in the same environment. So how do we calculate the amount of time for the difference to become only 10 degrees Celsius. For that, we have to use a special formula that looks like this, where we have delta T, which represents the difference in temperature between the two objects, is equal to the initial difference in temperature. So I'll use the exact same symbols, but place a subscript of I for the initial difference, and that is equal to 20 degrees. Multiply to a number known as Euler's number, and that's a constant at approximately 2.71 raised to the power of negative kT, where k is a constant, and that constant will change depending on where these two beverages are being placed. So if you're placing these two beverages in a freezer, that constant will be different than if you were to place these two beverages on a table outside. Multiply to the time, and that's represented by the letter T. So what I will do is substitute values that I already know. I know that initially the difference between the tea and the coffee is 20 degrees. And for simplicity's sake, I will not include the units in the calculation. Multiply to E raised to the power of negative K, which we do not have. Multiply to the time that it took the coffee and tea to become 18 degrees Celsius. And I said earlier that it was two minutes. So the units of this number is minutes, and the units of this number is degrees Celsius. Of course, after two minutes, the difference becomes 18 degrees. Now we have to solve for k. And to solve for k requires a little bit of mathematics. So the very first thing that I will do to solve for k is divide both sides by 20, so that this factor 20 is no longer on the right side. Dividing both sides by 20, make the factors 20 on the right side cancel out. Right now we have on the left side 9 over 10, which is a reduced version of 18 over 20, is equal to e to the power of negative k times 2. Next, I will be using the natural log, or ln, to isolate for that k. Remember that ln is the same thing as log base e. So if I take ln on both sides, the ln and the e here, since ln means log of base e, that will completely cancel out, leaving us with, on the left side, ln 9 over 10 is equal to negative k times 2. Then, dividing both sides by negative 2, watch closely, this negative and that negative cancel, and so do these two twos. So let's use our calculator. We have ln 9 over 10 divided by negative 2. We get a value that's roughly 0 0.053. 0 0.053 is what k is equal to, and the units of this constant are the reciprocal of the units that we used for time, which was minutes. So it should be 0 0.053 per one minute. The good thing about this is that we can now calculate the time it takes for the difference between these two beverages to be only 10 degrees Celsius. So going back to that exact same formula as before, remember we started off with 20 degree difference between the two, times e to the power of 0 0.053 times the time it takes for the difference to be only 10 degrees Celsius. 
So solving for t the exact same way we solved for k in this part, by dividing both sides by 20 and lawning both sides, you should end up with a value of t, after all is said and done, let me show you, ln of 10 over 20 divided by negative 0 0.053 means that it will take 13 minutes for the tea and the coffee to be only 10 degrees Celsius difference in temperature. And there you have it. Now you know how to apply Newton's law of cooling.